Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Hydroneer. And I have been very busy after the last episode and you'll find out at what I've been doing as soon as we get back. Uh, yes, I am still really loaded. Uh, I got some money hiding in here somewhere. I got 300 grand there, 300 grand there. And today I'm going to try to get at least a million in one shot. Uh, I have been, like I said, been doing a lot of work, been doing a lot of cleanup, and uh, needless to say, I found a lot of the lag that I've been looking for. Uh, also, too, ooh, oh, that's the second time in five minutes. Now, I found that if you just let it be, it will fix itself. Give it time, and give you a nice parking job somewhere in the forest. And if you're getting dizzy, I apologize. And which claim am I on now? And here we go. Wait. Perfect. Like a pro. And of course I'm stuck. Uh, anyway, let's uh, hope I don't lose my truck here. Uh, good. Everything's still on there. Uh, where did I end up? Huh, not even my claim. Uh, anyways, I'll meet you back at my claim wherever I can find it. Okay, I'm back. And fortunately, I didn't actually lose my truck this time. Uh, I've lost it once already with money in it, and uh, that sucks. Uh, yes, as you can see, like I said, I have been busy. I have been cleaning up, actually. Bring this with us, because I picked up some filters. I've been busy cleaning up. Uh, as you can see, there was a lot of dirt, a lot more than I expected. Uh, but that wasn't really the biggest issue. Now, um... Uh, I think it was David Cox had mentioned that there's a save file editor that will actually remove the dirt. I've looked for it and I cannot find it. Uh, if you had the link for it, maybe provide it for me, but uh, I'll be able to deal with it today. Uh, also, it was uh, Manash Kadia uh, suggested this idea. I uh, wanted to give us a, give it a, wanted to give this a shot, you know, for science to see how it works. Uh, I don't know if this is exactly how they were planning on doing it, but basically what we're doing is getting 10 ram drills. Uh, I am gonna put the dirt on the blocks. Apparently it works that way. Uh, we're going to actually test that here. Uh, but 10 ram drills going onto a conveyor line, going through two dirt crushers, going into a harvester. Uh, at first I'm going to put the, the funnel here and see if that actually works properly. If not, I might have to lower the, drop this down one and have the conveyor feeding right into the harvester. Uh, so we will see how that goes. But anyways, yeah, we'll put a hopper here. I've got everything corked off. Uh, all it's left to do is finish hooking up this water pipe, and uh, I'll bring you back for that. Okay, I am back, and I am just uh, filling this up with dirt, and as far as I know, this should work if I have a block there. And I'm hoping I have it in enough places. Might have to get in between the cracks and corners here and try to work it in somehow. Uh, I forgot to show you uh, what my theory on the lag is, you can probably hear it, and that is uh, the number of floating entities. Now I have done a little bit of cleanup with the, the magnet on a stick, uh, let me actually finish this up and then I'll show you that. Okay, and that should be it. Uh, so yeah, I was going around cleaning up, and this is a good example to show you here. I was using the magnet on a stick to try to clear up all the loose stuff that was in the conveyors. And even when I was pulling this line of conveyors out, there was still stuff left over. Uh, so needless to say, uh, things are getting stuck inside the conveyor. You can actually you can see a piece of iron there. I can't actually access it. That's the, the funny thing. Like I can't actually grab it. Uh, but using the, the, the magnets, you can sort of work it around and try to get stuff out. But this is what I pulled out, and this is just from the conveyors, and this is only half of it. And there's all this stuff too. And, and needless to say, that is a lot of leg. And to prove it... Oh yeah, gotta click and not hit E. Like, this is just one pile here. It's one pile of leg. This is the big one here. And I gotta be careful because I've had a few piles go shooting everywhere. Uh, needless to say, having all those little entities kicking around is what's causing all the lag. Uh, the dirt doesn't help much either, but uh, the dirt we're going to try to run through the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all this stuff up into a crucible, melt it down, and we'll see what we have out of it. See if it's going to be iron or gold, and I'm going to say gold, and we'll see how much gold it is. Okay, I've gathered everything. 
And already there is a little bit of lag. Not a terrible amount, but there is a little. Uh, let's see how many thousands of gold we have in that. Just just stuff that was, stuff that was stuck in the conveyor. And that is just to give you an idea of the amount of lag there is. Which is also why I'm trying to get rid of entities as soon as possible. So, let's see what we get here. Uh, what we'll do... Stop tripping over everything. We'll bring the day up. Uh, everything should be go on, good to go on the system. It's just a matter of turning it on and going from there. And we'll see what we get here. And then what I'm going to do is uh, if the system actually does work, uh, I'm going to use that to try to clean up some of the dirt if it, like I said, I could break these chunks down. And then after that, I'm going to get that thing up and running and we'll, I'm going to get that going for a couple hours. I want to try to get at least a... Uh, one million hydro coin bar of gold. I want to make a big old ring today. Oh, it's ready. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, and we got gold and six grand. Six grand of gold in my conveyors. And uh, oh yeah, all the all the gems came out. And needless to say, that gem container I put over there is getting laggy. I don't even want to pick that one up over there. No, sir. Anyway, it is daytime, or it's morning time, so let's uh, fire up the beast and see what we got. So I do have everything on the same system here. I got uh, sort of a catch, a catch basin here for uh, the shrapnel coming out of the harvester. Uh, that's going to be getting more or less full pressure. The conveyor is going to get a little bit less, but that's fine because I don't want it shooting out too far. And so, yeah, pressure chamber there, pressure chamber there. I got three pressure chambers over there. I did have a bit of an issue. I couldn't quite reach the water over here. Because uh, I'm stuck in this build area. So I had to go over here, and that was the closest I could put the pipe. So I had to go from there, have another pressure chamber here. And then I got my filters, three more pressure chambers, and we are good to go. So it's just a matter of turning on the water. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do, if I can get up here, actually I can... I take the, the long way. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn these all on. I probably should have hammered these down. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm not using E. I'm clicking. That's right. And a couple more. I do have these on valves, by the way. So turn that on. Okay. And then uh, turn that on. That's our conveyors. Into the grinders, crushers, whatever. These conveyors are working. Good. All right. So we go to gold, iron, uh, shards, and gems come out the end. Everything has power. Good. All right. Let's uh, fire it up. Uh, let's see if we can actually get up here somewhere. Uh, hmm. There we go. Perfect. Plenty of room. Go up here and see what happens here. And already we have a jam. Apparently that's something uh, that's something might be working on. Hmm. I'm wondering if maybe I should have the shredder right at the end. Working pretty good. It's still jamming up at the end here, though. Yeah, they're, they're forming back up at the end. So, uh, let me uh, try something with another shredder here, and we'll see how that works. Okay, let's try that. So, I put a uh, second shredder at the end there, and let's see what happens. Get over here. See how well this actually works. Uh, oh, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Get back in there. So it's letting dirt through. Conveyor's got way too much power. Not even sorting properly. Oh, and we got a blockage. Oh, and I took that out. That's why I always lock your stuff down. I'm just too lazy to do it. 
It's not, it's working okay, but you know, this is something I've seen a couple of people do is try to get too much dirt through one harvester, and this is where you start having problems with this, which is why I'm trying to go to uh, one harvester per time drill. Makes a mess, that's for sure. Definitely got too much pressure coming down this line, though. Uh, it should have been lowered, but that's fine. Definitely making a mess, though. But anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is, since I've got this actually set up, I'm going to use this to help me clean up all this dirt and go from there. I have never seen tiny little dirt chunks like that before. Wow. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I have gotten, well, I wouldn't say all the dirt, but I got over half of it anyways. I got all the stuff that was in the front and the side here, and uh, as you can see, it made quite the mess. So I'm gonna go ahead with this uh, the, the the magnet staff, the the almighty mag magnet staff. I'm gonna go around head it around and clean up all the gold, and as you can see, the loose clumps of dirt. And I'm gonna smelt it up and see what we got. So I shall return. Okay, well this is pretty much the last of it. There might be a few pieces over there, but I think we're gonna just leave this here. I can already tell it's a lot less lag than it usually is, so that is good. So uh, let that melt. As you can see, look at, look at all that stuff underneath the underneath the conveyor here. It's just something with those those vertical conveyors. I like can sort of work it out. Just goes to show you, I've got so much gold that's everywhere. It's, it's like sand that gets in your shorts. You can never get rid of it. When it comes to gold, that's a good thing, though. When it comes to sand, that's a bad thing. So that is that. I got uh, all these gems. So let's uh, let me pour these out and see what we got for shards, iron, and gold, and see what. And we'll. Uh, I gotta get everything back into the that system there. Do a bit of a cleanup, and then we'll get that going. So there we go. About seven grand, a little over seven grand in gold, and the the iron was. It was that one? No, it wasn't that one. It was this one here. A little over a thousand. So about ten grand just in the dirt kicking around, and that was only about half of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this up and running and uh, I'm going to try to get a good at least two hours, maybe three and uh, see if we can make a million dollar ring. I tell you, it's just crazy how much gold is coming out of the system. This is just one belt. Uh, needless to say, I have been going for quite some time. And uh, I'm going to let this go for a little bit longer. I'll bring it back and then we'll, we'll see what we have. And I think it's time to call it. Oh yeah. Uh, just because the collection's not the greatest, we are getting an obscene amount of gold, as you can see here. Like it's just so bad. Uh, needless to say, I had some issues. Uh, I'm gonna explain all that. What I'm gonna do is uh, try to shut these ram drills off. Let the system clean out, and then I'll clean up everything out back there. I'll actually bring you back that, show you the mess. Uh, hang on, I'll spare you the leg. Okay, this is actually one of the issues. Uh, it's, I think I mentioned this before about the game having so many entities to move. They're not stuck. The game's just trying to do too many things at one time right now. And what'll happen is when I come in within the area, it'll update them because the player's in the area. Now you watch, and all of a sudden they'll all move. Just like that. Gotta love game physics. Anyway, this will be a minute, I'll be back. This is actually one of the things I've been doing with my clean out. Uh, well, my, uh, I won't say clean out, but clean ups. Is I've been going through with the, the magnet here and just pulling stuff away from the, the edge of the conveyors. Just to, you know, like I said, get the floating entity countdown. Because, uh, yeah, I had a bit of a, bit of a snag. Uh, I was having issues with a couple of these jamming up, but it was, like, very rare. But I ended up having, like, that one there, and then like, two on this side and two on this side. And I, I wanted to keep one side going while I was freeing up the other side, so I shut this side off, and I was working on this side. I didn't realize that, that this conveyor system up here, the, the sorting system, was actually tied off of this, uh, off the left side ram drills so 
after the first half an hour, 45 minutes, the lag got so bad, I was fighting a three second delay on my movement. Like I literally could not move and I had to fight it out and I was trying to figure out what it was and I finally got around to shutting the whole system down. And then I came up here and I, I'm not joking. This whole area here, right up to about here, was full. Right up to about there, that high. This conveyor was completely full. There was so many entities, it was just crazy. But needless to say, I have uh, worked out the tweaked out, uh, worked out the the bugs. I actually have it tied down into the harvesters there with another booster there, so it's actually off the ram drill, so I can isolate the system like I wanted to do. Uh, needless to say, that's still an issue, but that's fine. But it's not that bad, to be honest. Uh, I do have to clean this up. It's going to take me a couple more minutes, so let me clean this up, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So here's what happened uh, when I had the the first issue with the, the sorting conveyor where it jammed up on me because I didn't know, know I had turned off. Uh, I had to do a restart, so I knew I had to clean up my crew, clean out the crucibles. And this is what I had at the very, very beginning, which was about forty. Put it on there, forty-six thousand in gold, and then I had. Uh, an iron ingot over here too. I got the iron and the shards. I didn't actually check to see what the shards were. Uh, but the iron is here. Let's go see what this is. Uh, apparently too, I didn't know this that, uh, well I knew about the, the magnet on a stick working on the dirt, but I didn't know it actually worked on the ingots. So that actually is really handy if you ever want to get it quickly. So 10 grand, so that's not bad. That was the first clean I had to do and that was probably about 20 minutes. 20 minutes and that was like major issues so now now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna check and see what we have so I think I think this is about two and a half hours of continuous running like more or less all the ram drills all the harvesters running oh, that was interesting I never had light picking up this before okay so let's see what we have I I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's more than 300,000. Uh, 420,126. Ooh, that's a good one. Now, what I was hoping, well, I was hoping for a million to be honest, but that's pretty good. 400,000 in a couple hours. I'll have to put that back later. And let's see what we have for the iron. I think I might actually be able to make a good necklace. I've got the 420, and I've got the 46. And let's see what we have on this. What was that? 83,000 on iron. Wow. Cool. All right, so uh, we have, let's see what we have for gold. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. 466,000 in gold. What's an amulet? Or a uh, necklace. Yeah, sure. Let's go for that. All right, let me make a necklace. And uh, what else can I make here? These are all small ones, too. Uh, might actually save these. Yeah, these are all, I think it's about 18 grand here. Uh, that was previous, so that's from today. That's actually really good, so about 600,000. So let me get some stuff together, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what it is, I took all the, the smaller bars, the 46,000 smaller ones, and I melted them together to make a 60,000. So I got a 60,000 60, and a 420, and I'm going to make a necklace out of them. Okay, so I did the same thing with the, the, the iron. So we got three bars of iron here. We're going to make a nice sword. Uh, the value on the iron was... Close to a hundred thousand. So make a sword. That's a big sword. Okay, and now the necklace. Now I don't know how much it's gonna be. I was honestly hoping for a million dollar ring in this episode, but that didn't work out because uh, uh, my issues. Uh, I would like to record more time into this, but I've already been working on this. Geez, like seven and a half hours now in this episode. Okay, uh, make a necklace. Make that 
add that. Oop. Give me that. Uh, would like the bigger gem, but I'm not digging in the dirt for a gem right now. And there we go. A big necklace. So let's see what the value is on this. 672. Wow. And the sword? 133. Wow. Million dollar day. Call me in the stock market. Okay, here we are. So swords swords are up, but uh, necklaces are down. Uh, I want to have them both sold at the same time. So I'm going to sleep. And hopefully we'll have both. Have high prices on both. And let's see what we have. The same. Wait for it. Come on. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Can't stop me. Only for a few seconds. And still down. And uh, one more. And I probably have to do a cut and pull the old Rip Van Winkle routine until those necklaces come up. Anyways, I'll be back. And that was quick. And green right across the board. So, uh, let's see what we get. Uh, I actually want to see what the price of this is. Okay, I'm going to guess over 750 680 Still, it's nothing to laugh about either. That's some good money. And that's going to be an absolute pain, isn't it? Of course it is. Sure, eight hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Wow. I know I can uh, go cash my money in for boots at the well. Ah, you stupid sword, get on there. That's fine. Good enough. Uh, I know I can uh, do that and sell all the boots at once to get all in one big stack, but that's some good coin. It was almost a million dollars today. Uh, that was yesterday, that was today, tomorrow, it's, or next episode, let's hit the 2 million, so that was pretty good, anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one, later.